can you solve for x in this Harvard unit maths problem that asks to solve for x in the power of 4 to the power of x equal to x to the power of 64? It looks very simple but can be complicated if you're not careful. Now let's solve this using some simple indices for the, uh, method. Let's look at how we can solve this by taking first of all the the power of uh, 160 volt of both sides. If we do that, we are going to reduce the right hand side to the value of x. Now let's do that. We are going to have this to become 4 to the power of x multiplying the power of 1 divided by 64, right? And this will be equal to x to the power of 64 multiplying the power of 1 divided by 64. Good. That way, uh, applying the law of indices, remembering the law of indices, that if I have a to the power of x multiplying y, this can be equal to a to the power of x, y. The pass with uh, the index will have to multiply. So if I apply that, we're going to have this to become 4 to the power of x x divided by 64, right? And this will be equal to x to the power of 64 multiplied by 1 divided by 63. Now from that expression, this is going to clear up this. And then we'll have that expression to now give us 4 to the power of x divided by 64 in the next step, we can simplify further by clearing x from the right hand side. And to clear the left hand side, to clear x from the left hand side, we're going to multiply through by the power of 1 divided by x. So this is going to give us 4 to the power of x divided by 64. And this will multiply 1 divided by x, right? And this will be equal to x to the power of 1 divided by x. Applying the laws of that expression, indices. we're going to find out that the exponents will multiply. And so we're going to have the power of 4 uh, multiplying x divided by 64, multiplying 1 divided by x, right? And this will be equal to x to the power of 1 divided by x. So what do we have? The x is going to clear up x and that expression will finally give us 4 to the power of 1 divided by 64, right? And this will be equal to x to the power of 1 divided by x. So what do we do here to find the value now, to find the value of x, I'm going to apply one simple logic. And you know what that is going to be? If I multiply this expression 4 to the power of 1 divided by 64 by the power of 4 divided by 4, I did not change anything. I can simply say this is still equal to x to the power of 1 divided by x, right? That way, I can simplify this. So if I simplify this, I will have this expression to now give me 4 to the power of 4 divided by 4, all to the power of 1 divided by 64. And this will be equal to x to the power of 1 divided by x. I've not changed anything. Will be equal to 4 to the power of 4, right, multiplying 1 divided by 4, right, multiply 1 divided by 64, and this will be equal to x to the power of 1 divided by x. Everything is in that. So in the next step, I'm going to have this to become 4 to the power of 4 will give me 2 5, 6, right? All to the power of 1 times 1 will give me 1 divided by 
two, five, six, and this will be equal to x to the power of one divided by x. So what do we have here? You can see that we we'll compare the expression x is equal to two, five, six, and one to the power of two, five, six is equal to one to the power of x. So from that expression, we can simply compute that the value of our x is equal to two, five, six. And that is the solution to that expression given to us. Okay. Now let's verify to find out if that solution is actually right. To do that, I'm going to take the value of x and insert it into that expression and see if I'm going to find let the left hand side is going to be equal to the right hand side. So if we take that expression, we're going to have 4 to the power of x equal to x to the power of 64. If we take x to be equal to 256, will the left hand side be equal to the right hand side? Let's find out. This is going to give me 4 to the power of 256 and this will be equal to 256 to the power of 64. Now we know that 256 can be equal to 4 to the power of Four, right so two four five six is equal to four to the power of four right so if we look at that expression four to the power of two five six can be equal to four to the power of four multiplying sixty four so that way sixty four multiplying sixty uh, 4 will be equal to, this is going to give us 4 to the power of 2, 5, 6, and this will be equal to 4 to the power of 2, 5, 6. So the left hand side is simply equal to the right hand side. So that proves to us that the value of x equal to 2, 5, 6 is the answer that satisfies that exponential equation given to us up there. I know you did enjoy watching this math solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified math content. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye.